Well, good morning. It's day two. Day two right now. And I decided to get up early once again. Everybody else is sleeping in the cabin. To get up early and uh, just to come out and enjoy this before there's a lot of people on the river again. And I just want you to look at this. I mean, when, early in the morning, it's nice out here. I already see that bridge right there. We, we tubed underneath that bridge. And just watching the water flow and looking look different colors. It's just absolutely beautiful out here. Now, the water's cold, but a good thing for me this year, it's not real cold like they say it normally is. I, I enjoyed it. It was nice. You know, I was all scared and everything. Like, oh my God, it's going to be so cold. It was nice. It was really of course, there's my, there's my backpack with my stuff in there, and I'm going to be taking that and... Uh, we're going to be taking a little walk. All right, time to get the feet wet in the river and go that way. Oh, today is a little cold. That's all right, though. That's all right. To be a good photographer, videographer, whatever. You have to go places where normal people wouldn't go. I just say normal people wouldn't go, huh? Oh well. Like I said, if you're going to take really good pictures or get a good video shot, you have to get into your work. So I'm getting into this river to take a couple pictures, low line pictures, you know, side pictures to get some good shots. So here we go. And, and, gotta do what you gotta do. It's so cool. There is one thing that I, 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 people, if you come down to this river to have a good time, you know, that's fine, have a good time, but please, please, please. Don't destroy this river, pick up your trash. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's beer cans underwater. One there. One there. Trash there. Way over there, there's another one. Leave it to some people to destroy stuff for everybody else. I wish those people would just say, poof, you're gone, you're out of here. You're just, you're out of here. Enjoy this beauty. Couldn't oh my god, this is I hate that. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get closer to the, the rocks over here with the waves going over them. I want you just to listen. Now isn't that just beautiful? It just this is why I like getting up early and coming out here before there's tons of people. And it's nice. Alright, see you a little bit later. Oh, spoke too soon. Here comes people down the river. I guess it's time for me to go. Remember before I told you about uh, people leaving trash? Look, look at this right here. See that? They can come down here, have a good time but then leave their crap. It's not that hard to pick your crap back up and take it back to whatever crappy town you live in because I know you live in a crappy town if you have dumped crap right here. I think people that do this is throw trash everywhere and don't care. They should be branded. It would think, you know, right across their forehead put trash because that's what you are. You're trash if you do this to the environment. Man, let me get out. Now I'm going tubing down the river again today and uh, I don't know exactly how the footage is going to be on this GoPro and stuff because I can't see it. It's on top of my head, but uh, I must tell you one time I 
went down this cliff or whatever it was. <laughs> Maybe it's not a cliff. It was a drop. And everybody else kept going. But me, I just kept spinning around and around. I got sucked into a vortex. It was like a tornado. I couldn't get out of that thing. And some guy came and helped me pull me out of there. I was so thankful for that man. You'll see the video of that. Get out, man. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. Ah, oh, damn. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I was like, I guess I'm gonna be here all day. There's a big old tree right here on this I noticed that it says Jesus the cross on it. I, I guess that's good. That means this 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 park is blessed, I guess. Look at that tree, look. I don't know if you can see it or not. Way up there. Either case, thank you. Well, today is day three, and uh, we went out on the river again, and I, I didn't take my GoPro this time. I said, okay, this time I'm not going to videotape anything. I'm just going to go out and hang out with everybody and, and relax, and it, it, was, it was fun, but we're all tied together. It was like seven of us. We're all tied together on the tube, and uh, I was in front. Somehow, I don't know why, but I always end up in front, and I'm trying to get back, swim back to the back, but we're, we're in a line tied up. Going down the river, of course, you know, I'm hitting rocks left and right with my butt. And uh, that's why I'm so sore right now from yesterday. And then I'll be sore tomorrow because of today. But anyway, so we're getting close to the end of the river. And, and there's, there's a narrow passage. And it drops down. The rapids starts coming. And there's two trees on the right. And I'm in the front, mind you. I'm in front. And you got all the rest of the people behind me. I'm coming through there, and I don't know how it happened or why it happened, but it, but as I was going through my tube, the string around my tube caught the tree and spun me like this, and everybody else went past me, and of course, you know, it yanks like that because I'm tied to the tree now, and they're all down this way, and the river's flowing, and like really trying to, and I'm trying to struggle to get it. <laughs> get the string off the tree and I can't get it because the river's going too fast and the, the and I keep slipping in the water underneath the water underneath the rapids and of course you know the people in my party are just laughing their butts off they're they're tied to to what I'm tied to and they're laughing their butts off at me and I'm like I'm gonna die I'm gonna drown right here and I'm trying to save y'all I'm trying to save y'all because y'all behind me alright so if I don't get off this tree y'all gonna drown too you know so the laugh go ahead laugh laugh all you and all I got to say is thank God for the guy who came and saved me I mean I was <laughs> I was drowning I mean I literally 
went underwater, went under the tubes, came, put my hands up in the air, came back, grabbed the tube, pulled myself up again, and I kept trying. I kept going underneath the tubes, underneath the rapids, everything. And this guy came and saved me. He had a, a paddle, like a, a oar paddle, and he stuck it between the tree and the string, and used it as a wedge. And he popped it, popped it loose. And I was like, thank God, thank God, at last, <laughs> how come I'm going to survive, you know? And of course, you know, people on Shoreline, they were laughing too, you know? I, I understand, y'all had a good time, and now that I think about it, yeah, it, it is funny. But not when I was drowning earlier, no, it wasn't. I had seven people that I was responsible for, and y'all laughing at me. <laughs> Go ahead, laugh. Now, when I said string, I don't mean like a little string, it was a rope. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to correct this, it was a rope. Because a string I could break. With my teeth, I get I, I could break it straight. It was a rope. Okay? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go show you right now exactly what it was. So you can picture it. Because right now I know in your mind you think, it was this a string, Stephen. Is this a string? No, it was a rope tied around a tree, rapids flowing, me drowning, and seven people were tied on to me. So word of advice, don't tie on to other people. When you're going down through short little rapid areas of trees and stuff, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. This is what I'm talking about right here. This piece of rope. This one. There's a black one here too. And this one right here. See that? That's what I'm talking about. That rope. Almost drowned.